Hello, Sharks. My name is Ajay Kumar. The company name is Easy Malta, and I'm here to ask 200,000 for a 10% equity share. So, Easy Malta. Basically, it is a concept created uh, to solve uh, the problems faced uh, on the Maltese island uh, caused due to traffic issues. The idea is to offer rides and courier services with use of two wheelers, scooters basically. The company is going to offer service like scooter rides with a very efficient cost price. Example, you want to travel to work and you need a ride, scooter ride. You can uh, take your mobile phone, book, uh, book a ride and we will be available right at your doorstep. The second service uh, the company offers is sending packages from point A to point B. For example, you want to send a document to a friend who's in a different city. You can book a, book a pickup and our courier service guy will come to your doorstep, he will pick up the document and he will drop off at your friend. And also, uh, for example, you forgot your keys at home and you went to work or of, a, of a drawer that uh, you need to attend meeting with. And uh, you can book a, a ride, the courier guy will pick up the keys, he will uh, bring it to you and drop, you, uh, off, drop off at you. And uh, the third service the company uh, offers is uh, shopping in multiple stores at once. For example, you wanna uh, buy fresh meat from a fresh meat shop and you wanna buy some drinks from a convenience, you can book both of them together and the guy will go to fresh meat shop, pick up the fresh meat, he will go to the convenience store, pick up the drinks or any other groceries you want and he will deliver them at your doorstep. The uh, existing market situation in Malta, there is no player that operates uh, in this frequency. So we, are, uh, we will be covering the mark existing market gap. Merits of the concept is that uh, we are saving time, a lot of time, convenience, and you never have to compromise on your preferences. It is a one of a kind and first concept with a lot of potential as well. And it is authentic because it is uh, developed to meet the requirements on the Maltese island. The market uh, for logistics and mobility services is estimated at 30 million euros currently. And by the year to, uh, 2025, it is estimated to grow of to a 50 million market. And we have a lot of scope to uh, uh, occupy the market. There is no direct competition right now in the market. There are a few uh, other establishments that are uh, operating in, in a similar uh, industry, but there is no direct uh, existing competition. I, as a person living in Malta, do believe that it is uh, very important to launch uh, this uh, concept. AJ, um, first and foremost, I would like to really congratulate you for the clean and clear presentation. Very well presented. It was easy. Very easy to understand, and it was easy, like you're saying. I would have liked to see more information about sustainability or about using electric mobility, so making it more um, uh, climate conscious. Having said that, I would like to understand what is your background? Uh, I'm a master's in business from Malta, from the London School of Commerce, and I've worked with uh, startup companies previously in India. Right now, I work with an uh, engineering firm, uh, which is uh, based in Malta. Is the application already existing? No, uh, I'm still developing it. Developing it? Yes. So I would, uh, we would require funding to develop. So, the so the financing is required to develop the app? Correct, yes. So how did you come up with that valuation? Of two million for valuation of the company? Based on, based on estimates. Can we see the estimates? Sorry? You studied business in? Yes. So I appreciate, like, numbers are for real. They don't lie, unfortunately. And, and when you value yourself at 2 million euros... Yes. You need to back it up. Uh, you need to back it up, or else, or else we, it's very hard for us to say, let's, let's go the, for this. The market share is very high, and it's a very rapidly growing But I market. want to take it a step back. You make reference there's no competition. You make reference that you want the first one in the market. Yes, correct. May I kindly remind you that moving documentation from point A to point B exists, exists. already. 
May I kindly remind you that by using this app, I can do multiple pickups, multiple pickups or multiple drop-offs with the app, up to four stops. I'm also informed that one of the big players is also starting with the two people seater, two car, two car seater. Yes, uh, I, I don't know if you um, saw them, but uh, one of the main major ride-sharing companies has two recently wheels. launched two a two-wheel electric vehicle. Only a few. Yes, ago. Uh, I've been seeing. Uh, I've, I've heard news about it, but uh, based on the road situations in Malta. Two-wheeler is, is the best solution. How did you come to an estimate of 200K to build the application? The cost of developing the application itself is around 30,000 euros. 30,000 to 40,000, yes. With the best geolocation services? Sorry? And you have state-of-the-art geolocation, 30,000? Uh, yes. Mm. So to develop and fully um, launch um, an application, yes. Yeah, to build the application is not a problem, but if you want to compete, you need to have at least as good the geolocation service as your competition. You know? so, and I'm informed that that's uh, quite an expensive uh, endeavor if you get uh, Google to back the app up. You know? so. Yeah. so the 200,000 um, money you would like to have invested, for what purpose will they be used? Uh -huh. To develop and launch the app, to buy the fleet, basically. The idea is to launch uh, the fleet with the 25 uh, scooters and then to hire talent as well. So I've created a revenue model which uh, guarantees uh, minimum wage and also fixed working hours. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's great, great because there's a lot of exploit exploitation going on in this uh, space. So you intend to own your own fleet? Yes, correct. Yes, um, that's, all, that's obviously different from what the, some of the other companies are doing. Yes. They're not doing it. So obviously when, you, you, when you're uh, working on your projections, you need to account for depreciation, you need to account for servicing your fleet um, um, and maintaining that, uh, obviously. Costs. So that, that's why it would have been interesting. I mean, I mean the idea, I mean, uh, especially if you specialize in one of those niches rather than try to be everything for everyone, uh, could potentially work, but for me personally, I would need to see numbers. I would need to know why your company's value two million. So at this stage, um, I will not be investing. So I am really concerned about the risk. So having two people on a bike tends to be much more risky than having two people in a car. Uh, and that is backed by the latest accidents happening on the islands and the state of the, the traffic situation in Malta does not help. I cannot expose myself to that kind of risk. And while I might look a bit aggressive and ready to go, I'll try to evaluate my risk as much as I can. The risk is too high. Have you thought of that, what happens if... Yes, there is a risk factor involved, correct? No, there's but, a, but how do you cover that? Like, have you... Yes, we are going to take safety measures. We are going to train our uh, drivers carefully and we will use proper... In terms of insurance, measures. have you thought of the insurance cost? The insurance to cost. Cover, to cover the possibility? Yes. Because it's much more than someone in a car. Let me take so it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get myself out because the risk is too high in terms of reputation damage. And I am aware of the problem, the traffic problem in Malta. We are all part of the problem and we need to all work together so that we solve this problem. However, it's, it's baseless. Your valuation is, you, you gave me no reason for me to, to invest for the reason that you didn't show me any numbers. So I'm sorry, I'm out. I think you have a good presentation. But I think, as Chris well explained, the market is already saturated with competitors doing the same service, um, like the one you're proposing. And I think you'll need more than 200K to start off something of, of, of the scale that you're planning to do. Um, considering I know what your competitors have invested in the market to, to start off. So for my side, I'm, I'm out of it. You have more numbers that you can maybe share, like, uh, yes, uh, business forecast. You have it here, like right now. Uh, no, have them. or maybe you can take me through, like uh, first year, second year. What you're seeing? So uh, for the first year, uh, with a fleet of 25, uh, the as total estimated revenues uh, are to be around 750,000. With 25 bi the, bikes. Yes, 25 bikes. Revenue of 750,000. Yes. You know what I mean. And initial. Capex of initial investment for buying the 25 bikes? Um, initial investment is around, uh, 
I think uh, around 60, 70,000. 25. 25. 25 bikes for 70,000. It works out at 2,800 each. 2,800? Yes. And there are bikes. It's, it's, it's at that price. I mean, me mechanical, not electric. And the rest of the investment will be in building up the website. Sorry? And the rest of the investment will be building the website, marketing, etc., etc. Correct, yes. So, based on the 750,000 revenue, what would be your, your, your net profit? A net profit uh, for the first year is estimated around 120,000 euros. 120,000 euros Correct. with 25 bikes? Yes. And how, how you see this growing then? By investing so, more in bikes? Uh, we are uh, uh, anticipating a growth of 20% each year. So uh, for the second year, I'm expecting around uh, 180,000. But using the same number of bikes or increasing the Using the, the same, you, it is uh, in the condition of, uh, with using the same number of bikes, but if there is a scope to increase the number of bikes, the revenues and the profits will increase as well. Uh, you know, I almost wish you actually presented the numbers, you know, because uh, you obviously know them. Yes. You're very fluent with them. So, um, I, I don't know if Mark will be making an investment, but you're an MBA. Exactly. Next year or whenever. I don't think you, you expected us to say yes on uh, seeing not even one type of number. I, I thought you will have questions and I can answer them. But, but you, you know, need to show us. You need, we, you, you're, you're valuing your company at 2 million um, euros, right? We need some numbers. And, and the, 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 the sad part is that you know the numbers and you, you seem like a very smart guy, you know? It, it could be, have been better. I mean, what I'm seeing from what you're saying, if you take an average of 150,000 euros net, net profit, so you need to deduct over and, and, and above that, for 10 percent, it's a return of 15,000 on the investment. So 15,000 on 200,000 euros, and it's so small. It's 7.5 percent in an operative business with so many risks. Yes, uh, like I said, that's uh, only with the fleet of 25. If the business is growing and we increase the number of fleet, yeah, but with that you increase the liability, you increase the investment, you know. So it's you increase the operational cost. It will. It's not on the equilibrium with as when you launch. So, I, it, I think it's a very uh, sustainable concept and I believe it's very... Sure. And the only thing it's is worth. the numbers are not tallying out in my head right now. So, the for the okay, reason so I would... 25 bikes, with 25 bikes, at, and you're expecting to generate 750,000. That works out that each bike has to drive, has to generate around 80, 90, dollar, 90 euros a day, including yes. Sunday. Yes. 60, 60 euros, 60, which 70 60 euros. Which would be, which 60 would times be okay. 25 times 365. How much is 680,000? Are you far Sorry. away? How much is it per hour uh, charge? Each ride is uh, average at a 6.5 euros. Wherever the point A, point average, B? Average. It is a bit of a stretch, especially if you'd like to run a model where you only have people working for 40 hours a week. So that means your, your cost to run that you need to have people working through the night. That means if you want to be like us, we pay people on Saturday one and a, one and a half the rate and on Sunday twice the rate. Your competition doesn't do that today. Because uh, I, I have work, uh, experience working on the front end of the competitors as well. So uh, if you're uh, giving an eight hour stretch of work, you can complete around 15, 15 rides in a day. So and what how, is the how many people will drive the bike? Two people uh, in a day, it will be divided between two people. Yes. So eight hours and eight hours. Yes, correct. Chris, 16 hours, cool, cool, cool bike, take you. 16. What is the average charge? 6.5. 6. 6. 6. I think your idea, your concept is really good, and obviously uh, I, I would you know, encourage you to keep on pursuing this. But unfortunately for me, um, in terms of investing, the returns are very, very low. Possibly they would go even below the 5% tag. So I would have to say no, but don't give up. It's a good idea. Thank you. Thank you, Thank AJ. You. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, AJ. There is definitely space for another player to come in. In a little free service, point A to point B, and yes, for motor. 
bien at para mela lege the sharks were really nice and they were considerate of every aspect uh, that i was pitching to them and uh, yeah they were they were really nice and they have a lot of experience and knowledge so yeah it was a really good experience overall